unboxing my new motor. Look at this shit. This is a 1990 Rotex Bombardier 467cc two-stroke two-cylinder snowmobile engine and it's gonna go on a go-kart so a snowmobile engine right <laughs> well I actually have a plan for this so here, here's all the things that I'm planning on doing with this engine so the good things first it has an oil pump and oil injection so I don't have to worry about mixing two-stroke fuel like it, it'll do it for me um, some other things that are different um, it's liquid cooled so with, with a built-in oil pump so I don't have to worry about pumping the oil I just need a radiator um, it, it didn't come with carbs so I have to get carbs um, it comes with back rear mounts so I don't have to worry about that but I do have to fabricate my own front mounts uh, that, that will go on right here also I need I need a primary clutch if I choose to go with the snowmobile type transmission. I need a primary clutch, which would go right here. And on the rear, the exhaust side, I need a um, I need a wide pipe and then an expansion chamber. But the good thing is that it came with the stator and the pull start and everything like that. And the cylinders and everything internally is in good condition and it has good compression. Um, but I do need to get a new ignition coil uh, that attaches right here because it didn't come with it. But I already have spark plugs. Is the the pulse pump? Pulse pump. This has uh, a place to connect a uh, mechanical. I mean a like pulse pump right here, um, which I have. And there's two carburetors, so I already have a fuel pump downstairs that has one inlet for the pulse pump, one for the fuel tank, and then two outlets for both carburetors. Something else that's cool about this engine, it's 70 to 80 horsepower in only 460 cc's. So this is about the same size as my other engine. It's only 300 cc, uh, but it has like twice the output, almost three times the output. Now we're down here in the basement. So here is the go-kart that the snowmobile engine is going on right now. It has a built Predator 212 engine. But my plan is to um, center the snowmobile engine on the rear of the go-kart. Um, extend the frame, um, move the seat over to the center, uh, relocate the steering wheel over to the center. I'll um, redo the brakes, uh, the fuel tank. Um, I'm thinking about leaving the front uh, configuration for now, even though the pedals are uncentered. That won't be a problem as long as the steering wheel is centered. Um, I'm going to cut off the rear and keep the axle, um, the same axle for now. Um, the same um, <clears throat> axle hangers for now um, and then I'll just extend the frame I, I've estimated about two feet um, longer um, and then I'll find a use for this engine it's really good condition I haven't really run it that much find another project to put it on 
but uh, this is the fuel tank that I'm harvesting for the snowmobile. And then for the fuel tank, I will probably use the same fuel tank for now at least to start and then find a new one. It has a pretty good capacity. It's aluminum. It's actually a coolant tank. So I'll find something find something for that. But uh but whenever I start building the frame, I'll explain everything in further detail in a future video. Um but I think that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I have a new video coming out soon. Just got the carb carburetors in for the snowmobile engine that's going on this. So that'll be that'll be great.